my fellow dirt road travelers. We are out here in Moab for Easter Jeep Safari. It is our first day out here, so come along with us. Like I said, we're out here for our first day out at EJS. Uh, <laughs> the way out here though was a little bit crazy. We decided, okay, we're gonna leave. We left super late because we always put on parts. And right, like the day before we leave, maybe. we can never get it together ever. But um, we left late and we came on out. We're like, you know, we're just gonna keep driving until we get tired and we'll grab a hotel. I mean, it's a 12 hour drive out to Moab from where we're at. We're gonna find a hotel somewhere. We did not find a hotel. Every single hotel along the way was completely 100% booked. So we just kept driving. At one point, Nate jumped in with Grandpa Steve and he drove for Grandpa Steve so he could rest. And then I was driving with the girls. And it came to a point at four o'clock in the morning, we said, hey, we've gotta stop. This is crazy, we gotta stop. So we pulled over and we all slept in the car. And let me tell you, it was freezing that night. <laughs> Pretty cold. At one point, I'm sitting up in the front. I got my camera bag and all my gear in by my feet so I really don't have room. Brooke climbed on top of me, decided to sleep on top of me in the car because it was so cold. She did have a blanket, so it was kind of nice to share her blanket with her. But yeah, we woke up to the ground completely frozen with snow all around us. That's why it was so freaking cold that night. So I was like, oh, dang it. But we made it out here to Moab. We're on our way. It's our first day out here. We're not officially on a trail with EJS today. Nate has some work to do on the Gladiator. We got the 40s on, Nate. Yeah, they rub a little, <laughs> so we're gonna do a little trimming. Yeah. Make them fit. Yeah, it needs some more parts. I mean, what do you need to do? I, I mean, our steering is jacked. Our steering, we know we've had to update our steering, but what upgrades do you want to do later? Yeah, I need a tie rod and drag link, and then uh, we need to do some adjustable control arms to, so we can put the wheels a little further forward to not rub as bad. Yeah, so we do plan on doing that. We did try to get the parts before we left, but unfortunately, all the vendors are coming out here to EJS, so we just couldn't get a hold of anybody to get the parts that we needed. But right now, we are going out to go meet up with um, SP Danny, and we have the multiples with us as well, as well as I said, Grandpa Steve. So let's go do this, and let's go hit Moab. All right, so we found Danny over here at the park, and we're gonna work on the Jeep a little bit and get things going so we can hit the trail. Morning, Danny, how you doing? Good, man. How's it going, guys? Good. Great to see you guys out here, man. Whoa. All right, now you gotta go work on All right, we're gonna get to it. All right, guys, let me show you what's going on, what the problem is. This is 40's problem. This is not normally a problem for everybody. But on the fenders right now, it sticks out a little bit too far. The factory ones were back just a little bit farther, and we need that little bit of clearance for the 40's. So Nate is gonna come in here and cut off this plate right here and save it for later so we can weld it back on and then he's going to come in and grind it smooth so it doesn't rub and cut more into the tire. What's the side Are you ready? guys so we ran into a little trouble on our flex test there we ended up tearing out two wires out of this plug because the tire was hitting it so I'm gonna just bypass these two wires across the plug plug it back in and then tuck everything up in further so we don't hit but that's why we're testing things out so we don't have this on the trail all right guys so we'll need a little nap and know-how to get us going here all right guys, we got what we needed. We'll head on back over there and get it fixed. Oh, 
Oh, oh fire. That's how we fixed it, but we got another problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not one start. All right, we're back on the road again. Nate got everything fixed, we hope. Right, Nate? Yeah. I can't with this man. I just can't. <laughs> Mate. Well, you know, these are big modifications, so they require a little more than I expected. Yeah, you just had to have the 40s, Nate. You just thought they were going to slap them on and let's just go. Mm -hmm. But, um, so we decided since it's so late in the day, and to be honest, I'm kind of glad this kind of happened this way because I'm still extremely tired from the drive out. We're gonna go try and go see some dinosaur footprints in the ground and some pyro, pyro, pyroglyphs, pyroglyphs, what do you call them? Petroglyphs. Petroglyphs, there we go. <laughs> it was somewhere in there. Actually, it was in there. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go see that for the kids. We're gonna, it's a short little hike. I think it's like a mile hike or something like that. We're gonna go see that for the kids and kind of tire them out before we go hit the trail. We are still gonna do a trail today. We're gonna do a trail called 3D. It's only rated uh, four. They say that you do kind of need a lift for this trail, but lockers are not needed for it. The sock vehicles do take it on with a higher tire pressure. So let's go do this. Let's go see some dinosaur footy prints and let's go hit the trail. Maybe you're kind of like, oh, I love off-roading, but I want to do something else too. You can do some rock climbing. I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no. Nate might do it, but I won't do it. But you guys can keep that in mind. Also, going out here to look at all the cool dinosaur footprints and stuff. There are dinosaur museums and a whole bunch of stuff that's geared towards fossils and all that fun stuff too when you're out here in Moab. So we're almost there to go look at all the fun stuff. So let's just get there. All right, guys. So if you want to come out and see the dinosaur tracks like we're going to do right now, you take the 191 through Moab and you turn off on Potash Road and you come down here to the trailhead for Poison Spider. And right there at the trailhead, there's a parking lot. And that's where you bring in the little hike to go see the dinosaur tracks. So we're going to do that now. Come on. The police will come in. Ready? One, two, three. Oh. That's fine. Go ahead and find a rock and sit down. I'll follow your line. <laughs> Hell yeah, come on, report this. Come on, pour low. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, help me. <laughs> Wait, come back. She's there going again. backwards, man. I had to. <laughs> Maria! <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes. That's a good sized dinosaur, man. Where? Five hours later, we're Yay. back. You survived? Yeah. Yes. Oh, we're back. This is definitely one of those trails that is not everyone access friendly <laughs> it, it's gonna take some hiking and a little bit of climbing to go see all the fun little footprints and climb some of the rocks so just be aware yep yep that was a cow everywhere we go i find them i swear <laughs> nate can i have a cow no not right now yes every time all right, so we're right now getting to the beginning of the trail for 3D. It is around 25, 28 miles long on trail, and it's not particularly a really tough trail. Uh, Nate, what'd you air down to today? I was. Playing. I just went down to 18. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, so I just, just a little bit more comfort. That's it. I don't think we're looking for anything crazy. No. So we're gonna go out there and just go have a good time. All right, let's hit the trail.
All right, guys, it's a really windy. Hopefully you can hear me pretty well. This is optional. This is not, you don't have to do this. We're just playing around, you know us. Here comes Nate. Over here are some of the rock sandstone cliffs. It's pretty deep, I don't know. So we've reached a nice little spot. There are two waterfalls going on right here. There's one that's gonna be a little bit easier than the other one. And then you do have a bypass lane to go around it if you don't want to do it. But you know us, we love to do it. So we're gonna try it out. Danny's going first. Easy peasy. Alright guys, so far the trail is turning out to be pretty easy. I would classify this as a beginner friendly trail. Any stock 4x4 um, rig can make it on down. Anything that is an op bonus line, there is the bypasses to go around. So that's making it really, really nice. Right now we're heading on over to the scenic overlook. Let's go see what it looks like.
guys, we made it up to Mean Hill. This is the most noteworthy obstacle out here on this 3D trail. Here goes Danny. He's going to go straight on it. Not too bad, not too bad. Up next is Nate. Now next is the multiples. <laughs> Last is Grandpa Steve. All right, guys, so that was Mean Hill. Sorry, we didn't get to talk that much on that one, but it's super windy out here today. Nate, what do you think about Mean Hill? Uh, the traction was pretty good. We slid a little bit, but being on brand new tires and I only aired down to 18 because I knew this was going to be a pretty moderate trail. So I didn't, I could have gone a lot lower. Oh but, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was fun. Yep, and to be honest, guys, that whole drive out here we actually still had some dubs on the tires which is pretty freaking impressive in my book but um we're going to continue on the trail and see where it leads We've come to the end of the trail. On the way out, it's gonna be a sandy road. There is a gate. Remember to close it on your way out. We don't wanna let all the little cows out. So let's get on through. Right, guys so that's gonna be the end of 3d trail I really feel this is a beginner to intermediate trail because there are bypasses to go around it is beautiful it is a really pretty trail it's just a really nice easy trail to go on which after last night the night before no sleep it was perfect it has a couple pretty good climbs on it and mm -hmm. stuff but this is definitely would be a good one to if you want to just kind of get your feet wet and try some stuff out oh yeah the only one that didn't have a bypass was the mean hill but i think if you give it enough beans you'll get up it just fine but um yeah so we have tomorrow is another trail out here and we're actually doing it with easter jeep safari so we're super excited to go out there and go do that but guys you know the drill we're tired hungry dirty and that's going to be the end of this dirt road journey
Bye, guys. Peace.